What's up YouTube? It's Chris here. So for this video, I know over the past couple months, I have been wanting to update you guys on what my pin collection looks like. Now, let me just say this. Every time I was about to go film, I would always back out because I'm like, dude, my collection is messy. It's not ready. Um, I want it to be perfect when I like, you know, show you guys because I'm like a perfectionist. It's like the Filipino inside me. But um, I was like, you know what? At the end of the day, I don't think I'll ever be fully prepared to show you guys my current collection or whatever. So I'm just going to give the people what they want. I'm going to show you guys my current pin collection and what I have. We're gonna put away some pins that I've been slacking on putting away, let's be honest. Maybe we'll unbox some pin mail that just came in. I just got some Duffy Halloween mystery boxes that just came in from China. So if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel if you are into Disney pin trading content. Let's go! Also quick close up on the fit, got a vintage Disney crew neck. Uh, perfect for the holidays So in regards to putting my pins away I keep all of my pins that need to be organized and put away in this box that I got from my aunt and she got this from Daiso Japan It's like a under $10 type of store and they sell a lot of cute Disney stuff So again, I put all my pins that need to be put away in here and I'm not proud of this but look how much has accumulated over the months this is like literally due to neglect and that's on my bad but i'm pretty sure a lot of you can you know relate you come home from disneyland and you're tired you're too lazy to put away your pins this is what happens so i need to put all of these away and organize them and um some of these maybe i'll see it and i'll be like you know, maybe I'm not attached to it anymore. Maybe I can use it as a trader for the upcoming Kraken event, which is actually this Sunday. And I need to prep for that. Let's go see what's inside here and what needs to be put away. All right, so let's look at the, I'm just gonna call it my neglect box, my neglect box. Anyway, um, here's a pin that I actually got from Steve from One Step Adventures. It's a Pooh Piglet Paris pin. So I can't wait to put away that. Um, here's a pin that I got from Ted. It's like an early birthday present. Um, my birthday's in February, so it's a Nick Wilde birthday pin, and this is from the Shanghai Resort, so super nice pin. Thank you. Shout out to Ted. Put that right there. Um, I also have a lot of these Zootopia um, puzzle pieces that I need to put away, and again, a lot of these were accumulated with the help of Ted, the MVP, so I'm going to go put these on the side over there. Another Winnie the Pooh. This is actually given to me from one of my fellow subscribers, Natalie, so shout out to you, Natalie. Um, she went to Tokyo Sea, um, the Tokyo Sea Resort, actually. So thank you so much for thinking about me and for zapping me this pin at the Kraken Trade event. Um, here is a Hades pin that I got from Trading in Frontierland. Um, I'll put this over here. This pin is a Star Wars pin. It's like the green milk and blue milk. I also got this in Frontierland. This will probably be a trader for the upcoming Kraken. So I'll put this on the side as well. This one I got from a seller on Instagram and they were able to purchase a Lotso pin for me. And I think they said this one is from Korea. And you can tell because a lot of the Disney Korea pins, it's a soft enamel. Um, so if you guys know about soft enamel, that's what's up. And here is a Paris Poo pin. I actually traded with someone at the Frontierland benches for this. It's a Lotso pin who looks like a Vinylmation Bear Brick type of pin. Go over there in the Lotso pile. Um, oh, here it is. So actually, I got this for Wee Disney. Um, I got this from a Instagram Live game from Grape Soda Pin Club. So yeah, I need to make sure to give this to Naren Na. So I'm gonna put that on the side. I got this from Pin Mail from my friend Dora. Um, and I believe she lives in the Bay Area, but shout out to you, Dora, uh, for this cute Winnie the Pooh. Um, this one is really nice. I got this one from From Treeland. It's um, Winnie the Pooh. Um, Eeyore, Piglet, Tigger, Easter pin. Um, this one's probably going to be a trader, to be honest. Um, I got these from a live sale. I believe their username is Tangled Wild or Tangled Up. 
it's something like that. I'll tag them. But um, it was a mystery box. They pulled these pins live, and I got the ones I wanted. I wanted Nick and Judy, and they pulled Nick and Judy. So that was a really, really good luck day. Zootopia Pie. This one is a, um, what's his name? Oogie Boogie from the Munchling Pack. I just really like this series, so I'm thinking about just, you know, keeping the Munchlings. But we'll see. This one, um, I found this one on a board. Um, this one's cute. This one's Lotso. Going to Lotso Pile. Winnie the Pooh Train. Pooh Pile. And um, I'll just skip ahead to when all these are organized. BRB. All right, that took a while, but here's what it's looking like so far. Again, this section is like, could be traders, maybe like on my, on my sideboard where I just keep cute pins that I want to keep. Um, Winnie the Pooh, Lotso, Duffy and Friends. Um, we, got, we have Hades, a couple of Hercules pins, and Zootopia. And also, I want to give a huge shout out to the homie Daisy. Um, I traded with her at Kraken for this epic pin. And look at this. It's Duffy and Cookie, which is the name of the dog. And look at their pin trading. Like, what the heck? This is like the epitome of me. It's Duffy pin trading. Come on. Like, this is like one of my favorite pins. I also forgot to mention I have these to put away as well. They're with the backer cards and um, some of them are from the Disney Studio Store. Um, but look, I have the Zootopia Snow Globe. Shout out to Edward who helped me get this one. And then we have the Nick Wilde PTD Pin Trader Delight. This was like one of my ISOs and I'm so glad I got it. I traded I think like four pins for it. And then this one's Nick and Judy with the heart, so can't wait to put these away. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to have room, um, but we shall see. So right here is my current Zootopia collection. Honestly, I am out of room. I only have some spots right here and here. Um, and then on the back side, I have my small little Hades and um, Hercules collection that I need to downsize. But basically, if you guys are wondering, these little pages, they're, I, there's a, it's a Kraken trade board underneath, but the page itself is from um, Daisy Pins, and I'll tag them here. And um, it's basically a Kraken board, but they're inside these nice little sleeves, and they come um, with this backpack, and I'm sure you guys have seen it in my other videos. Okay, this is heavy, but I'm gonna show you guys. It's this right here, this whole backpack. It comes with the Daisy Pin slash Kraken boards in it, so really, really helpful. I'm trying to buy another backpack so I can put more of my collection pages in there, um, because I'm kind of graduating from using, like, the cork boards and, like, these little boards here, uh, because I want all my pins to be in a backpack, just in one bag, um, and that's my personal preference. But yeah, um, I don't know where I'm going to put all these Utopia pins right now. I definitely need to buy a new Daisy pin backpack. Oh gosh. So maybe I'll just put away um, a few of the pins on here just for the ASMR of it. That'll do for now. Not me debating where to put this Hercules pin. It has to look visually appealing, you know? I'll just put it right here for now. Ugh. I'll, f I'll find a better place for it. And let's not forget about this little poo poo pin. We'll put him right, it's gonna fit right here, right here. A little bit of rearranging to fit lots of those pins, but it's all good. There we go.
hate how they're kind of loose, but it's fine. And this little board right here, it's kind of like my, I'm not collecting this type of pin, but it's cute and I don't want to get rid of it board. I feel like I'm low-key starting to collect Baymax, but I really hope I'm not. <laughs> That's dangerous. Very dangerous. That's crooked. That's bothering me. Also, here's a look at my Toy Story collection. I'm not actively collecting it as much as I used to, but I am trying to focus on the Asia Park pins for Toy Story in case anyone was interested. Um, but let's put away this pin. Super, super cute. We shall put it... Oh, where's it gonna look good? We'll put it right here for now. Also, on the opposite side, I have some Pixar pins. So we have like Bugs Life, Inside Out, Monsters Inc., Coco. Um, but in this small little corner here, I am kind of collecting some Luca pins. Um, so that might actually be one of my like core core collections i guess but yeah again for the big bangers like these i am going to have to buy a new uh some new daisy pin pages to put these can't forget about the traders over here time to put them in my time to put them in my daisy pin um booklet And I usually just place my traders in random places unless they are bangers, which I need to like separate it to remind myself that they're a little more higher in value, you know? But other than that, I kind of just scatter them around. It's a Toy Story pin. I'm going here. And a lot of these pins, you know, it's like I had my I had my time with them. I said my goodbyes, you know? It's like sometimes you just grow out of a character or a movie, not a movie, but like sometimes you just grow out of a pin phase or you have duplicates or you're just no longer feeling that pin, it's okay to use it as a traitor, you know, it's it's fine. You had your memory of it, just Marie Kondo your pins, you guys. And it's about time now that we unbox the um, Happy Halloween 2022 Disneyland Shanghai Duffy and Friends mystery pin box. Um, you can pull any of the Duffy and Friends, those are the options on the back. The new character, Lena Bell, she is the pink fox, um, cat-like thing, she's right here. Um, that one would be really cute to pull, but yeah, honestly, I'm fine with pulling any of them. Let's go ahead and unbox these. So here are close-ups of the boxes. Again, super, super cute. Here are the options. Look how adorable they are. Ah, I'm excited. Uh, okay, here we go. Well, that sucked. Who's it gonna be? And it each comes with only one pin, which I'm really sad about. It'd be nice if it came with two. But you know what? Let's just be grateful. Oh, I got Stella Lou. I'm really happy actually that I got Stella Lou the rabbit because I don't think I really have any Stella Lou pins. This one's really cute. Yay! And it's a pretty good size. Like this is the this is like it in my palm. Really cute pin. Let's see what we get for the next one. Oh my gosh, I got Gelatoni, the cat, so cute. Oh my gosh, these are really cute pins, you guys, look. Yay! Also forgot to mention, I did also order this cute Duffy and Lena Bell Halloween pin. So look at, they're like holding hands and they're trick-or-treating and this pin is so, so adorable. Again, these are Halloween pins, I know that, but still cute regardless, right? Look at that detail. And I'm just noticing that there's sparkles on here too. So that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. This is Kristen Bancy signing off. Bye!